now as we know what are the multiplexers and how to solve the questions related to it there is one more question which is popular in multiplexers so the question is implement the 8 into 1 multiplexer using 2 into 1 multiplexers now here you can see that this multiplexer is required which we have to implement and what is given to us 2 into 1 multiplexer so this multiplexer is given and we have to implement this one so that means we have to implement a larger multiplexer using a smaller multiplexers how many multiplexers are given to us so we assume that there are numerous number of multiplexers so the question in this uh, topic comes like how many multiplexers are required so that's why they have not given the quantity of multiplexers okay now so let's say this is our 8 into 1 multiplexer if at all this is 8 into 1 multiplexer then we have 8 lines 8 input lines okay so i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 5 i6 and i7 so we have 8 input lines and now we have one output line what will be the internal structure which is in implemented by using 2 into 1 multiplexer so 2 into 1 multiplexer is like having two input lines i0 i1 and one output line so this is one 2 into 1 multiplexer so by using this one we have to implement this 8 into 1 multiplexer so how to do it let's see so now what we will do is we will combine these two lines into 2 into 1 multiplexer so this assume that this is 1 2 into 1 multiplexer and we have given i0 and i1 to, to this multiplexer and this i2 i3 is given to another 2 into 1 multiplexer this i4 i5 is given to another multiplexer and i6 i7 is given to another multiplexer so all these multiplexer will have one output each and then these output can be clubbed into another 2 into 1 multiplexer so this is 1 2, 2 into 1 multiplexer whose inputs are input of this multiplexer and this multiplexer similarly we can give these outputs of this and this multiplexer to this multiplexer and this will have another outputs and we can give it to another multiplexers uh, another multiplexer so this multiplexer output is this and this multiplexer output is this and this multiplexer is having output final output okay now you can see that we have level 1 2 and 3 so we have three levels in which we have added 2 into 1 multiplexers in order to implement one whole 8 into 1 multiplexers okay now let's see what are the select lines here so 2 into 1 multiplexer is having one select line okay so now for this multiplexer let's say this is one select line we have given this one select line for these two multiplexer this is one select line and we have one select line this so finally we have three select lines let's say this is s2 s1 and s0 which is three select lines of a 8 into 1 multiplexer now let's say let's see whether we have named them correctly or not maybe s2 s1 s0 is not correct and s0 s1 s2 are correct so let's see if we have named s2 s1 and s0 whether this will work or not so suppose that s2 s1 s0 as 001 so if we give 001 then i1 this is 1 in decimal so i1 should be output at this final output line now if at all this is 0 so i am writing 001 here so if it is 0 then 
we have these two multiplexers to cross one multiplexer this is 0 1 this is 0 1 this is 0 1 this is 0 1 so for 2 into 1 multiplexer this is i 0 this is i 1 this is i 0 this is i 1 although we have given i 2 i 3 but this i 2 i 3 is for 8 into 1 multiplexer 2 into 1 multiplexer will treat it as i 0 i 1 only okay so now if we give 0 here then what will happen it will enable this 0 this 0 this 0 and this 0 so all the one lines will be inactive and if this line is inactive at the first level only then this cannot be the output at the final line so this cannot be 0 here okay so that's why s2 s1 s0 cannot be written s2 s1 s0 like this so this is wrong once again why it is wrong because if we give 0 here then this line this line this and this line will be active and the other ones which are not circled will be inactive so if this is inactive if this is inactive then it cannot reaches to the output so we have assumed s2 s1 s0 as wrong okay now let's see if we have assumed it as 0 s1 s2 so what will happen this will be 0 this will be 0 this will be 1 so this s0 is 1 s1 is 0 s2 is 0 now what will happen this is also 1 only because s2 what we are doing is we have just reversed the number it doesn't mean that it will become 4 in decimal it is still 0, 0, 001 only but we have named it other way around okay so this is not 4 this is still 1 in decimal so this s2 is still msb most significant bit and s2 is least significant bit okay now if we select 1 and so what will happen this will be active here this will be active this will be active and this will be active and the blue ones will be inactive so here from this line i1 will go to this so it will be i1 from here this will move to i3 so next this will be i5 and this will be i7 okay now if we have given s1 as 0 so what will happen so here 0 1 0 1 so this will be i1 and this will be i7 and here also at s2 we have given 0 which is 0 1 so this will be output and i wanted to be output as i1 so that means it has to be s0 s1 s2 not the other way around okay so let's say we have chosen uh, 110 so it is 6 in decimal so what i want is i6 to be the output so what will happen here what we will give is 0 1 1 okay in reverse okay so now if i give 0 in the first input uh, first level so what will happen from the first level so i am writing levels right so these are levels so at first level what are the input lines will be active all the lines which are having zeros so here since 0 is given so all the lines which are zeros will be active what are zeros 0 2 4 and 6 so i0 i2 i4 and i6 are zeros so you can check here 0 0 0 and 0 so these four lines will be active and when we give s1 as 1 on level 2 so out of these four lines so the later one because the first one will be rejected and second one will be selected first one will be rejected and second one will be selected so out of this 2 and 6 will be selected at level 2 so 2 and 6 will be selected at level 2 and then we have given s2 as 1 so you can see that 1 will be the later one so from here later one which is 6 at level 3 6 will be selected and that's what we wanted to get selected for 1 1 0 or in the uh, select lines form 0 1 1 so that means s0 s1 s2 is correct okay
now if somebody ask you what are the select lines here then you can say that s0 s1 s2 not s2 s1 s0 okay and how many uh, 2 into 1 marks you have used 7 so you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 marks are used how many labels are used so the label 1 label 2 and level 3 so 3 levels okay let's see another question now we have to implement 8 into 1 marks which is required and what is given 4 into 1 marks instead of 2 into 1 we have now little larger marks and we have to make more larger okay now see here how to make let's say this is 8 into 1 multiplexer so 8 into 1 multiplexer will have 8 lines so this is i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 5 6 and 7 now 4 into 1 multiplexer will have 4 lines so let's say this is 4 into 1 marks this is 4 lines connected to it and another 4 lines are connected to another 4 into 1 marks this will have output as 2 outputs one each from one multiplexer now you have another 4 into 1 multiplexer since 4 into 1 multiplexer have 4 lines so these two lines let's say i0 i1 i2 and i3 so out of these i1 and i2 are the inputs provided by let's say 1 and 2 multiplexer what about i0 and i2 so what we can do is since i0 and i3 are empty i can give the input i0 and i1 same i2 and i3 same so what i have done is we have short circuited them okay and then the output is this this is the final output so how many labels here used so level 1 and level 2 how many 4 into 1 multiplexers are used 2 at level 1 and 1 multiplexer at level 2 so total multiplexers are 3 multiplexers okay so 3 multiplexers are required and 2 levels are required now if we draw the diagram for a larger multiplexer so for example the question is implement 128 into 1 multiplexer using 2 into 1 multiplexer so now it is very complex very difficult to design the diagram for it and taking the time constraint it will consume more time also so what we have is direct formula for it i can uh, drive the formula also but i would suggest you to just uh, learn that formula and try to um, uh, use that formula so if we want to find out total number of levels so we can use the formula like this log of base n m okay total number of levels equal to seal of log m base n what is m and n so where m equal to required max into 1 and n equal to given max into 1 so that means this is m and this is n okay now if you put the values inside this formula you will get log 128 base 2 that means log 2 to the power 7 base 2 seal now you know the formula log base a then a to the power m is equal to m log base a a and log of a base a is equal to 1 so this implies m into 1 is equal to m only so what we get is equal to 7 so how many levels are required 7 levels and now if we want to calculate how many multiplexers are required so total number of mux required let's say we call it d so d is equal to summation of k equal to 1 to 
let's say total number of levels are uh, x so we call it x so here write down x m divided by n to the power k so for this particular question let's solve it so d is equal to summation of k equal to 1 to 7 what is m 128 divided by 2 to the power k so how to do it now expand the formula so 128 divided by 2 to the power 1 plus 128 to the power 2 plus 128 to the power 3 128 to the power 4 plus 128 to the power 5 plus 128 divided by 2 to the power 6 plus 128 2 to the power 7 so we have to go till 7 now you can solve this and what we get is so here we get 64 32 here we get 16 here we get 8 then 4 then 2 and then 1 so you can sum it up so 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 8 15 plus 16 31 plus uh, 32 is 63 63 plus 64 is 127 2 into 1 marks are required okay if you want to check the formula whether they are correct or not you can solve this so here you, you can check this we have n as 4 and m as 8 and now we know the answers let's see that the answer are correct or not so we have two levels so l equal to 2 so x so we have x here x equal to 2 and d equal to 3 we get these answers let us find out with the formula also so x is equal to seal of log m base n equal to so log base n is 4 and m is 8 so we know one formula that log base a b is equal to log b upon log a and you can consider any base let's say m m okay so this will become log 8 upon log 4 and you can write it as log 2 to the power 3 upon log 2 to the power 2 which is 3 log 2 upon 2 log 2 you can write it as 2 by 2 and since it is in seal so this is 3 by 2 which is equal to 2 so now you get x equal to 2 which is correct now if you want to find out d so d is summation of k equal to 1 to 2 which is x okay now uh, m is 8 divided by n which is 4 to the power k now what you have to do is 8 by 4 to the power 1 plus 8 by 4 to the power 2 now you can see that when you divide 8 by 4 you get 2 but here you have this thing which is 8 by 16 if you divide it by this you get 0.5 that means half marks and you can see here we have used only two lines out of four lines so so basically we have used only half marks but there is nothing called half marks so we have to use whole marks only so we will consider it as one only so that means 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so here also d is 3 this is verified okay if you want to check here also so now if we check here we have 7 max and three levels so let's say this is n and this is m so put it inside the formula x is equal to seal log m base n so this is log 8 base 2 in seal which is log 2 to the power 3 base 2 and you will get Three in that case so three levels which is verified now if we calculate the total number of marks required so summation of k equal to 1 to 3 which is number of levels and m m is 8 divided by n which is 2 to the power k so this implies 
एट डिवाइडेड बाई टू की पावर वन प्लस एट डिवाइडेड बाई टू की पावर टू प्लस एट डिवाइडेड बाई टू की पावर थ्री वी हैव टू गो टिल थ्री नाउ इफ यू सी दिस दिस इज फोर प्लस टू प्लस वन विच इज सेवन सो वी हैव सेवन मार्क्स रिक्वायरमेंट ओके This is how we can solve the questions uh, of requirement of marks and levels required by this formulas. Okay, so always remember that M is required and N is given, not the vice versa. Otherwise, you will get the wrong answers. Okay, thank you.